Hi everyone, it's Andrew from Scraps of Beauty and it is Sunday night and if you're watching over on YouTube this is a live stream over on Ustream.tv where I stream every Sunday and Wednesday night. I did get a comment the other night that um, I take too much, what's she say? I do too much unrelated stuff to what we're doing in the show. So if you don't like the chit chat and you don't like to hear talking the first five or ten minutes, just fast forward. But I don't edit my videos and I do talk to my friends in the box. So if that's not the type of stream you're looking for or video you're looking for on YouTube, either fast forward or there's plenty of others <laughs> to watch. All right, so we are going to play with some Yupo tonight. This is the Yupo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, this is the translucent. I wish I would have had light um, Yupo. I think this would have worked better with light Yupo. But first, I have um, a couple of books to show. So if you don't want to see the books, just fast forward five minutes or so. Um, but I did show this on Wednesday night. I know, and it's terrible, right? I mean, if you can't say anything nice, you shouldn't just say anything at all. <laughs> but that's not how some people are, so what can you do? <laughs> they do make you laugh, yeah. Um, so we're talking about um, drawing faces, and this is the first. This is um, a Faber-Castell one that I got, um, and it was uh, with Fashion Girls, how to do Fashion Girls. <laughs> exactly, CB. <laughs> And so what I really liked was this angle. I've never seen that where they show you how to do the nose to the chin. And so it really helped me um, drawing my girls that way. And then I found these books. And this is by Frank. Can you see that? Frank Granados. And this is volume two. His first book, which is this one, is a little um, risque. <laughs> this is The Lost Art of How to Draw Fantasy Females. Um, my father used to love pinup girls. I like pinup girls, so this is really um, kind of a book like for pinup girls. So that's that one. But what I like about this book here, and this one's called The Lost Art Volume 2. Hi, Ella. How to Draw Fantasy Female Faces. Hi, Shells. And um, he has a different technique uh, how to um, draw a face. So I don't know if we'll do that tonight because I have something else I want to play with. So if we have time, maybe we'll do it towards the end. But, you know, everybody shows you the quarter faces. Hi, Bunny. Hi, Debbie. Hi, everyone. Everyone coming in? <laughs> Sorry, just reading the chat. All right. So what I like is he shows this. I've never seen this before where he actually draws the line. You see that? Where it's like a box around the nose. So I'll have to try this one night. And so here you can see where he actually takes from the corner of the eye. And that's kind of where your nose should be. I've never seen that before. So And also his quarter faces, the way he draws it. It's pretty good too. Let's see my blind. I should have marked that one, the quarter face. But it's here. Like most people say, oh yeah, it's just a curved globe, you know, and they just give you that center line where he actually gives you these other lines and like for more proportion. So it's interesting. It's totally different than um, what most people um, do. And I haven't read the whole book, so I haven't seen how if he does other things different. But like even this, so here he's got cat eyes. He's got uh, diamond eyes, round eyes, and almond eyes. So, so I thought it was a pretty, pretty interesting book. So I'm interested in practicing that. So I'll stick that there. He does do some beautiful faces. Yes, he does. Yep. And then I found this other book. Um, it's a, I think what's a, it's a journal. This is doesn't say how big it is. I think it's like nine. It's 11 by 11 by 9. And this is the company Crescent. Crescent there, you can see it. 
But what's good about this book is that, can you see down here, it's a sketchbook, and it also does um, paint, spray paint, markers, um, I think this is charcoal, pencils, a watercolor, I would assume that is, and I, I think that must be like gel pens, I'm not really sure. But it's not supposed to bleed through at all. And it lays flat, and it says media won't bleed through pages. So you could use your alcohol markers on here. Yeah, it is, right? Uh, he, yeah, I think his, he has a lot more detail in his face for, for that. So I'm interested to try this. We're not going to try it tonight, but um, yeah, so um, I'm going to get my alcohol markers out, and then we'll try it. So, so it'll be interesting to see how that works. So if you're looking for a book to use your alcohol markers in, oh, look, you can see me. <laughs> Um, that might be a good one. And I got that off of um, Amazon. Okay, CP. So tonight, I thought we would play with... I haven't played with my Distress Oxides. So what I did was uh, I just had... Uh, had tore, you know, I tore some pages out of my Dilutions book. You have some render paper? What is that, Rebecca? I never heard of that. Render. So I put masking tape on this side, but on this side, on the inside, I didn't want the masking tape to show. So I actually used, um, it's called, and I got this off of um, Amazon. It's called Transparent Mending Tape, Mending Tissue. And it's actually archival, so it shouldn't fall apart. After a while, um, no, I took them off, Bunny, before I came. <laughs> um... So it's our, if you got archival masking tape, I believe that doesn't fall off. Um, but if you use regular masking tape, like eventually this glue will come undone. So we're going to do that. And then what I did was I didn't want to get my daubers confused with my oxides. So I actually went to the dollar store and they had these um, cork. And so what I did was I just um, took some Velcro. And just stapled it on there. Yes, but this isn't what's inside my Dilutions book. But what I have to do is um, I usually take this, whatever I do, like they want to learn the di um, the Distress Oxides for the next class. So I just it's easier for them to hang this up than to hang up my whole book. So... How did you know, Bunny? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> so that's what I do. So anyway, so this way I have my distressed daubers separate from my other ones. So and you got five in a bag, so that wasn't bad. So and this way I'll just I just throw them in this little bag here, and then I have them. The brand of my journal, but the dilutions. This is just the, from the dilutions paper. The reader of oh, that one. I didn't open that one yet. This one's called Crescent. And it's, yep, the sketchbook lies flat. You see it lies flat. And supposedly it takes spray paint. So. So it'll be interesting to see. It says media won't bleed through. So I'll have to give this. Oops. I don't know what that fell. We'll have to see. Oh, you saw my voice in the paper pack. <laughs> Very good, Bunny. <laughs> but I took them off. Good thing I took them off before. All right, so you can see that mending tape. You can't even, you can barely, I don't think you can even see it. It's so transparent. Can you see that? So I put that on there. So um, I can't decide whether I want to gesso these pages or not gesso. But, um... What I did was I took the Yupo paper, and I think um, this is a translucent one. There's also different weights, I believe. So I think if you had a light, the light uh, Yupo paper, it would probably bubble up more. But remember when we um, – I'm just trying to find a place for this. Hold on. Remember when we took the Tyvac of the Crescent Journals made – oh, it's made out of render paper. Thank you, honey. Um, remember we took the tie back and we did this and we ironed, um, ironed the tie back and we made all these cute, nice little bubbles. 
Well, you can do the same thing with tie back. I couldn't get as many little bu bubbles. I tried, but for some reason it was not not getting as small. So, and it what happens? I'll show you here. Not Kathy. So you can see here you can get the bubbles. So these are pretty big. I really wanted smaller ones. So I tried that, and then I started to get them a little bit smaller here. So you can see that there, a little bit smaller. Oh, the mending tape. Yeah, it does. It's really nice. And if you break something, let's say in your journal, and you wanted to fix it, and you already painted it, you put that on there, and actually kind of disappears. So, um, and then I did this one. And what happened was, um, I thought maybe if I pressed a little bit harder, um, but what happened was I just wound up flattening it. So, yeah. So definitely I think the lighter one would be a lot better. But and this is kind of expensive to experiment with. But I just wanted to try it because it's, you know, plasticky. So here you can see I got a better a better one. And all I did was I took, um, cut a piece of the Yupo and then took uh, parchment paper and put it on the front and the bottom, the top and the bottom, and then just took my iron and went over it. This one came out the best. <laughs> So there you can see that one. I, that's what I was trying to get on most of them. Like that. And then see if you go press too hard, it just totally flattens out. So when you first put it on there, you put it on and then you gotta only have to put it on for like one or two seconds and then lift it up and then just lift the uh, iron on there and that will give you your bubbles. If you try to go back and try to get more bubbles, it's not going to work. So I think the light, I'll have to get some light Yupo and see if that works better. But tonight, we're going to play with these wonky castles <clears throat> and these little um, the Yupo paper to make like little clouds. So they're like sitting on clouds. So that's what we're going to do tonight. So I'm actually going to just use the ones that are kind of little. So that one and that one. So then we'll have to color these. See this one too. Like I don't um I almost had them. They almost popped up, but then not quite. And then I was too afraid to press down on it because I was afraid they'd flatten out. But they wouldn't make nice rocks anyway. So so yeah, so it's cool. Because it's like plastic like Tyvac, you know, you can do that. Melt it. But I definitely want to get the there's a paper that's light Yupo, and I think that would probably make the smaller um rocks like whatever all right so that's that so you can give that a try if you have some so these castles i ordered the stamp they're from france and i have just put this on my printer and hope it doesn't bleed i sprayed it with some hairspray <clears throat> but you can see there's four different castles i'll show them to you so there's that one that one and this one and then I just printed them a little smaller. So you can see that there. But if you're looking for these, um, this is from a company from France. And this um, and they have some really cool um, stamps. And I'm not even going to begin to pronounce that. Castle Craft. <laughs> I don't know. And the name of these, it's the castles. Chateau. The Chateau. And then that's the number. KTZ172. Yeah, to iron, yeah, iron, but I would definitely put some parchment paper on you so you don't want that melting and sticking to your iron. <laughs> so, yeah, aren't they cute, the castles? So, and I don't know why my printer, because you see it here, this one, it, they're a lot lighter, and then this, for some reason, they took gray, so I'm hoping we'll be able to, I put it on watercolor paper, so I'm hoping we'll be able to paint on them. So we'll see. Yeah, so I thought we would just have them like kind of floating in the air and then just play with the dio um, dioxides and in the background. So, <laughs> all right, so, so I'm going to start with my yellow. Where is my yellow? So you guys can see, right? I don't know why it's so dark over on this side for some reason today. I'll have to check that out later. So we'll just have them like floating in the air, <laughs> something like that. So I'm debating whether to do the gesso or not. So I think I'm going to not do the gesso and see what happens. 
So I'm just going to do it in a couple spots here and there. So now you might be able to see, you can see the tape a little bit better. It's still kind of invisible, but it's not like masking tape. Can you see it? Let's see. You can barely, barely see it, but it's cool. The, um, the mending tape. Especially if you have, you know, artwork that's ripped and you want to put it back together. Yeah, the castles are cool. It's a company in, from France. I'm going to move some of this stuff here. Hold on. All right, so we have some yellow. Maybe we'll go with some. Let's do the pink. So this one is worn lipstick. That one was fossilized amber. And then we're going to spritz this too and see what happens. I'm using the dilutions. Um, I just tore two pages um, out because um, this will be the class for um, for next month. The girls want to um, learn play with the distress oxide, so this is what we're going to be doing. <laughs> We're going to still be working out on Gabby's album, but I do that on Wednesday nights. And this Wednesday coming, instead of 7.30, I'm going to start an hour later. So it'll be 8.30. I'm actually having to go somewhere, and it's from 7 to 8, but it's right up the street from me. So give or take, I should be home by like quarter after 8. So Wednesday, we're going to start at 8.30 instead, instead of 7.30. All right, so this one is Broken China. I like all those little circles in there. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we're going to kind of make it look like um, a rainbowish type sky. And I might take a baby wipe and see what happens. Let's mix all of this. That's it. Yep. Oh, the frantic, frantic stamper has it. Oh, well, that's cool. I might get some more blue here in the middle. I didn't want to keep fooling around with the Yupo because it is a little pricey. And I have all that other that I have from the tieback. But I really wanted to make this like white clouds, kind of like sitting on white clouds. So, all right. So what other color shall we use? Um, red? And I'm going to pay a baby wipe and see what happens if we can mix this up a little bit. So here's the red. I'll do purple next. All 
Oh, I don't want that. Look at it. Come on there. Alright, purple. So this one is the Wilted Violet. There we go. Just thinking this links are open. Yep, links are open. All right, and then I'll go back, I think, with the blue. We could do crack pistachio. Let's do that one. Yes, it worked. Mm -hmm. Yep, it worked. Then I'll go back in with the blue and see if we can move this with um, a baby wipe, hopefully. I don't know. Have you seen anybody use the Distress Oxides on Gesso? I was just wondering. Hi, Mindy. <laughs> oh, darn it. Just done. All right. I'm going to finish it off with the blue. see where we are from there. <laughs> Hopefully this will move. <laughs> I don't know if it will. Alright, want one more corner to do. This corner here. Here we go. <laughs> they weren't as bright on Gesso? Oh, okay, well that's good to know. All right, so let's take a baby wipe. Let's see if we can get these to blend a little bit. Oh, yeah, it does kind of blend. I'm surprised, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Can you see the difference between turn this stuff on my desk? This side, this side where I did the swirl, and then that's where it's just pounced. So swirl, pounced. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that it is uh, moving, considering it's just on the um, paper, really. And since now I could decide which side I want to, maybe I'll go like this on this side. There we go. <clears throat> what happened? All right, so let's dry this, and then maybe we're going to put some splatters or something on there. So. Heat gun. going to blend either, but it did. 
Now you can see the tape mark a little bit more there. Yeah, it did blend pretty good. This car almost looks like a tornado to me, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Can you see it? The way it's like here on this side. Right here, it looks like <laughs> like a tornado. <laughs> All right, so I think what I'm going to do now is, and that's the other reason why I wanted it out of the book, because it'll be easy for me to pounce it. So I think what we're going to do is let's put some um, the cracked pistachio, maybe. Let's, where's that one? So we'll put that on here and then kind of like spritz it and then, whoops, see where we can go. Maybe I'll do two. I'll do that one and the broken china. This one. His mini stamps are? Which mini stamps? All right, so then we're just going to give this a spritz. Maybe. It's not really working, is it? I need better spritzer than that. Right there. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my paper and then just kind of dab it here, there. Probably be better off just doing it like this where I want. Any more? Probably shouldn't. I'm wearing a white shirt, which I probably shouldn't do. <laughs> Oh, they're more expensive overseas, yeah. Whoops. Can I more on here? Let's see. All right. Oh, Freddie puts out for his tags. Oh, you mean the little, not a oh, little, hmm, I don't know which ones those are. Hi, Vicky. They're more expensive for Sophia, yeah. All right, so that looks pretty good. Oh, I got to sneeze. Heat gun, I'm going to put the heat gun to this. I put, I'll show it to you. Hold on. We're going to do it again. What I did was I just, um, <laughs> um, we're going to do it again. So all I do is I put some on here and then water and then kind of tapped it on there. So I think I'm going to put a little bit more of the blue. 
Maybe we'll try yellow. Let's get a little yellow on there. So I'm just taking this. And I just should wipe this off just in case I have anything on there. A little bit. Oh, I didn't know that this realized did the... Yeah, it does brighten up, doesn't it? That's pretty bright. Okay, so I'm just going to put some yellow on here and see what that is. So I just pat it on here and then I'm just spritzing it. And then I think I'm going to bring... So I'm going to bring the paper down and then I'm going to um, use my mat to just kind of tap it. Maybe that's not going to work that well. Any more? What's nice about them is that they lay the color, you know, right on top of each other. Like they don't really make mud or anything, so which is nice. Easter eggs. <laughs> Just trying to make like a rainbow sky. So I don't like that too much. All right. You just have to remember to dry in between. So we're going to dry that and then put a little bit more blue on it. <laughs> yeah, it gives it more depth. Yep. <laughs> he can. Got rid of our tornado though. <laughs> I don't see it anymore. Yeah, the colors are really nice and bright. You would think that they're, you know, kind of chalky and they wouldn't be, but yeah, they're pretty good. Like that. All right, should we put something else on here? What else should we put on there? Maybe a little, I'll put just a tiny bit more blue, I think. Or should we do the pink? We'll try the pink. Let's do the pink. Sorry, Eileen. Do a little pink. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. So I'm actually just going to see if I can do this. Just tap it here. Oh, that is nice and bright on there. You see the pink there? It's just a little bit more on this side right here. All right, so we're going to dry that, and then we'll do some stamping. <laughs> Heat gun! <laughs> Thanks, Kimberly. Craving chocolate? Why? Why is she craving chocolate? Purple too? I'm going to save the purple for the castles so that they stand the purple and blue for the castles. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So I think we're going to need to do some stamping now. So let's see. I'd like to use this for the border, this big one. So we'll see how well it stamps. I don't think I have a, um, I could use my ruler maybe. this up. And you can get this. I got this off of Blitzy. This is the double extra large. And all these are in French. So I'll just give you the number. SA40011. <laughs> Alright. So I think I'm going to use this one.
And I need some black archival ink. <laughs> Where is that? Hopefully I can get a good... Should we do it off so it looks like the sky is coming from the sky, I think. All right, I'm going to put this right down here. Hopefully this will print. Oh, thanks, Ella. How was your scrapping weekend? Was that this weekend or last? Hopefully. Yeah, I love their stamps. Cool. All right, so we have that. So I think I'm going to do that from the top. And then we need to add just a little bit more. I'm going to try to do this corner. And they just came out with a whole bunch of new ones, too. It's like, oh my gosh, it's killing me. <laughs> killing me. I want to do it to the flower. Oh, was last week? You got 26 pages done. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's good. Got that, and then we'll do this side. Is that so? Are you finished with your Alaska book now? Eileen? Yeah, I really like their stamps. So there we go. A little off, but pretty good. Yeah, so that's that stamp. Isn't that nice? It's a nice big long one. Ugh. Prepped them by selecting. Oh, that's good. Whose stamp is this? This is Carabella. That's This one here, Carabella. And the number is SA40011. It's all in French, so I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. I can't read French. French de la Fleuse Merveille. I don't know. I can't say it. <laughs> um, but it's nice, isn't it? Like, even like this, if you just wanted the different circles, I'm thinking about cutting these up. So it comes like that. So I'm thinking about cutting these in here. Four pages left. Wow. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, like I said, I got this off of um, Blitzy. That's where I found mine. Yep. That's double extra. Yeah, because it's like 12 inches. Let's see it is. Yeah, 12 inches long. So I got journaling left now. Wow. All right. So we have a cool little background. So let's see what else we need to do. So I want to kind of get these like they're floating in the air. Kind of like that. And then maybe we'll put these, let's see, put this one here maybe. This one down. This one like. There. I think maybe we should um, do some more in the background. Let's see. Like that. Oh, you're welcome. 
Maybe we'll do like that, and then we could do some type of title up in here or something like that. So let's see. We have to color this too. I'm going to color this a little bit. Yeah, it's a big. I've never seen one that long. I know Prima used to make them like that, but looking for scissors. <laughs> um, so let's see what kind of clouds are we going to put on here. So I kind of go go with where the crease is. So let's try that. So we need four of them, say. Um, let's see, we put this one like this. Never seen them that long before, yeah. We have a cloud there. Can you see that? Oh, there you go. I have to fix this. So we're going to have that one sitting like this. We need to straighten that one out a little. Do it this way. There we go. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Let me fix this one a little bit. Patty, you missed it, did you see? This is um, Yupo paper ironed like we did with the Tyvek. I cut my other big piece up where I would show you. I don't know what to do with them now. But yeah, it's um, Yupo paper um, ironed like our Tyvek. Alright, so let's see. Put parchment paper. Yeah, you put the you put the Yupo and you put parchment paper on the top and the bottom. Top, bottom. <laughs> and then iron it. Yeah. Um, I think it's a little heavy. I think I would try the light Yupo next time. I think I would get more. Yep, heated it. Yep. Yeah. I really wanted like more bubbles like this, but it was hard to get. Like most of mine are thick. Where's my other one that I could show you? I don't know what to do with it now. Oh yeah, here it is. So I think the lighter Yupo would be better. But see here. So they're, they're much bigger. And I wanted them kind of small. I couldn't get them small enough. So that's it. Yep. Yep. Just parchment paper, top, bottom, and then hit it with the iron. Yep. But if you hit, if you press too hard, you flatten them right out. So you kind of have to just put the iron on there one or two seconds, then lift it up, heat it, and then you can't press it back down. I thought if I press it back down, I would get more bubbles, but I don't. It just flattens it back out. So this is the distress oxides in the background, and then I'm just trying to get these little castles um, in the sky here. So let's see. Let me cut this one, I think. Yeah, it's a cool technique, isn't it? It's a little expensive, though, like I said, to... Um, is that what I want? Uh, to be practicing with the Yupo. <laughs> But if you don't have tie back and you do have some Yupo, this is a good thing to do. Oh, that's a cute little cloud. Bye, Debbie. <laughs> Alright, so maybe this one will go up, this one will go down, and this one will come down. And then we could put a some type of title, title up in here. So I need another little cloud. Do this one.
I want to see if we could color this with the distress oxides, how it'll, how it'll come out. So there's another, another little cloud there. And then we need one more. This one needs to, to reach like that. And then we need one more for the bottom here. Let's see. Let's try this one. This one's got a lot more bubbles in it. It's styrofoam, if it's flammable, mm, I put it in between the paper, so I don't think so. Because like I said, when I tried to reheat it and press down on it, it just flattened it out, so... Let's see what we can do here for this one. Oh, that's okay. All right, so let's I try to follow these lines a little. All right, so that one looks pretty good. All right, so I think we have all our clouds done. So I think we need to maybe stamp in the background. What do you think? All right, so let's put these aside. So let's color these up. So that one goes with that. If you need, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't try that. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can color these. So I'm going to actually color them. Let's do the iced. Uh, let's see what that looks like. So this one is the ice spruce. I'm going to need a dropper for that. So Patty, I actually put these on a piece of cork that I got at the dollar store so that I would not mix them up with my regular distress inks. So that worked pretty good. All right, so let's see if this will. Oh, yeah, we'll take it. But you know what? I want to get down inside there. So I'm wondering, can you see? You see that there? It's just really light. What I want to do is try to get down inside the um, Pyvac. And I don't want to get all, all of the, I want to keep them white a little bit. Yeah, the fumes from the um, styrofoam, yeah, I wouldn't want to melt that. This didn't have any fumes. You know how when we did the tie back and if you press it too hard, it kind of had a smoky um, smell to it? This didn't have any smell at all. Yeah, they're cute, aren't they? I got them at the dollar store, and I just put a little piece of Velcro on them. So for the 12 I think it cost me maybe $5, so that was pretty good. I'm going to put a little blue on here, too, I think. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted something different, but I didn't know what. And then when I saw these, I'm like, oh, my God, they'll fit the dappers. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to put a little blue in there as well. Hopefully this will... That's pretty. Can you see that? Just a little bit of um, blue on there. And then I'm going to heat this because I want to add some gold on the top of this. I want to see if it's enough contrast um, for a page. Yeah, it's cheap too. Yes, it is. <laughs> so can you see the difference? 
between this is just the ice spruce on there and then this is with broken china and ice spruce on there a little bit of both all right well, let's see what happens when i heat this now <laughs> stick that there heat gun and probably need some type of stick here too probably You know what? Hold on a second. I need my board because what happens is if I heat this, my um, desk thing will get too warped. So this is just a little, what do you call it, um, cutting board. And then put that on there so I don't mess up my mat. I hope that doesn't burn. Okay, heat gun! <laughs> So that's good. <laughs> Thanks, Ella. Make sure it's not hot or anything. I want to make sure that this is. I gotta take. See if it doesn't come off on my hands. And I forgot to put my gloves on. You guys didn't remind me. <laughs> Right, so I just want to see if this is going to come off. So let me get a rapid paper towel. You want to try the corks? So this is going to, yes, this is going to rub off. So I don't think, um, I don't think that's going to stay on there. It's rubbing off a little bit. Can you see? Just a, there's just a light, a light bit on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some. Um, now, where's the gold I had out? <laughs> Here we go. So I'm going to add some of this. This is um, Gilder's Paste in the gold. Yeah, it's a yep, cut and board wrapped in uh, aluminum foil. Brought in a hot car and it warped? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I keep a little uh, wet wipe in here so that hopefully it doesn't get moldy. So I think I need to do it with a paper towel. All right, so I'm just going to rub some gold off of here. Oh, maybe it doesn't work. Let's see. Nope, that gold's not going to work. So let's see what else I have that's kind of gold. Here. This is just rubbing it off, so that's no good. Um, what do I have? I must have some gold paint somewhere. And let's try this. This is um, Martha Stewart from Target. Let's try this. Brush. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Hopefully that will stay on. Can you see that? The gold on there? There's a gold. I'm just kind of brushing it up on the top of it. And still, you could still see the blue in there. There we go. flatten yours out <laughs> I'm just kind of patting it on there so it doesn't take the distress part off so just a little hint of gold you can see it there just a little bit 
Oh, thanks, Rebecca. Old, doesn't it? <laughs> this page, for some reason, I don't know, reminds me like it's turning into a unicorn page or something. <laughs> All right. So we have that. So we'll let that dry because it is um, just plastic. So let's just move that to the side. So can you see that? I'll bring it up there so you can see. It's got some blue and the blue gold in there. I should add some. I wonder if I have any glitter around. Do I have any glitter? Yeah, got some glitter. While it's wet, see if it stays. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter or not, <laughs> but got some glitter on there. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see the glitter. Yeah, there you go. Has some sparkle to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll need to seal it with an outdoor sealer. Okay, I have that one. Oh, I didn't bring it up. The one that Barb recommend. Um, the one that you could spray inside. Well, we might be able to use this. I have this one I got from um, CHA. It's a varnish mist. It looks like dragon scales. It does. So, and it's water based. So, I think that would be okay, don't you think? That we could spritz that? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. So, what else should we do to the background? Do you think we need to do anything else? What time is it? 28. I really like the background. I didn't think that they would be that um, bright, the colors, but the colors are pretty nice. They're really nice. And it's probably a little bit more brighter um, in real life than you're even seeing. So, <laughs> what happened? A whirly gig? What is that? Oh, a unicorn? <laughs> I don't know why this is, this is like kind of remind me of like a unicorn. <laughs> Maybe it's the colors. I don't know. All right. So should we do any more stamping, you think? Let me see. Let me see what I have. I have this other one. This one is has just straight castles. <laughs> oh, for Allie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... Maybe we'll stamp some of these, but in light, like in a light gray. Let's see if I have my light gray one out here. Trash blue. I think the only one I have is my dark gray. Let's see what is this? I have this one, London Fog, but it's pretty dark, I think. I really want a, like a light gray. See if I have anything else. It's dark. Dark. Um, just looking to see if I have another stamp pad. Well, you know, maybe let's do it with the um the iced. See how that works. Do not spray with a sealer. Okay, why not? Let's do the iced and see how that turns out. Where is the iced one? <laughs> it really is a type of one. Oh, <laughs> got it. Uh, that's the black. What did I just do with the iced one? All orange. Oh, there it is. So let's try that. 
just to put a little bit something light in the background to go with the other castles. So they'll be like faded in the background. We could even do some of these going up the, uh, the bottom of the page. All right, so if you're looking for this one, this one is number SA60137, and it's Fabrique in France. <laughs> oh, it says Villa, Villa something, Lutinia. <laughs> I cannot read French. If Gabby was here, she'd be able to read it for me. She took French in school. Oh, got you, Hallie. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's do let's do this one, the bigger one. Yeah, Joggles has most of them, Eileen. Yep, they're really, really nice. I like them a lot. I'm looking for my stamping thing, <laughs> my block. Did you see that? Where my block is? There it is. Yeah, because I, I haven't liked this one. Yeah, and Joggles has a lot of it. I got a lot of them from Joggles. That one, and I love the circle ones. We could put a couple of circles in the background. I think we should put the circles instead of the castles. Gabby's doing good. Actually, she's coming home week after next for Father's Day weekend. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think we should put the circles or the castles? Maybe we'll put these at the bottom. We'll see. I'm waiting for the lag. Circles or castles? Night, Kathy. <laughs> Circles. Okay. Circles. Okay. Circles it is. we will yeah actually we're going she's coming on um a friday night a friday afternoon and there's this place and i guess it's like two towns down from us or up from us and they have um glass blowing where you could blow your own glass so we're actually going to do that um on friday when she comes so that'll be fun circles circles everybody's saying circles okay circles it is all right, so I'm, I don't want it to be really dark, so we're going to try it with this and see what happens. Oops. Put on the block first. Oh, half price shipping when you buy 50, yeah. Oh, Joggles has them too, yeah. Joggles, um, yep, it's half price, 50. Joggles has a lum and Blitzy. I got them either one. Joggles or Blitzy. All right, so let's see. Let's do this. Maybe we'll do one at a time. I'm going to do the one with the big. Let's try that one. It should um, be good because it's all dried. Oh, you can't really see it. It's too light. So I guess I'll have to go in with the black. All right, so where's the black? Can you see it's too light? It has to go. Plus we have black on the top, so I guess we'll go black. I just don't want it all black. We might have to... Um, white on there. Let's see if I could line this up. That would be nice if I could, wouldn't it? Oh, kind of. Kind of good. 
I probably have to re-ink this. It's not really juicy, juicy, so. And some of these are probably going to get um, covered up anyway with our clouds and such. All right, so we have three of those. Amazon has them too? Oh my gosh. <laughs> The nice thing about this one, the reason I like this, is if you stamped it off on other paper, you could actually cut cut the center out and use the center. You know, you could use each three circles. So that's cool with that one. Bunny knows all the deals. <laughs> Got you. All right, so that looks pretty good. I think we need some script on here. Oh, I don't want my script one. I don't think. Let me see. So that's those two. We could put a couple of these flowers on there. Let's try that. Amazon is if you have pre uh, prime what do you call it you know Amazon Prime then it's probably free so then any of you guys who came in um, on Wednesday I'm going to start an hour later just so you know um, oh my goodness. I have to be somewhere from 7 to 8 so it's just up the street from me um, so all right, that's good enough. Oh, thank you, Eileen. Um, so 8.30 on Wednesday night to continue with Gabby's um, album. All right, so we have that. Let me see if I have a script stamp so we can put that on there. I think I left that one upstairs. Oh, this one's cute too. I like this one. This one with the little ground, like ground. That one. I really don't want text. Hold on, I'm just looking for uh, a stamp. We have some rub ons. <laughs> oh no, it's not prime. <laughs> Oh, here I have this one. So this is an old Hampton Arts one. I don't even know where I got this one. <laughs> so any script stamp, I just can't find my other one that I had here. Let's just do a little script on here. <laughs> Until now, home oh, for Mitzi. <laughs> Probably even upside down. I don't even know. <laughs> I 
one thick enough. We'll do one more up here. Okay, so we have some script on there now. Oh my gosh, Peg, did you see the email I sent you about my primary elements? Because of that girl, the one that pours the paint, Anna, Anna something with an M. She had over 750 orders on one weekend. And of course, that's the weekend that I ordered something. So it'll be another two and a half weeks before I get my order. <laughs> Because it's all hand poured and hand done, so I'm um, so I'm glad that they got that, but I'm kind of sad that it's taken so long. <laughs> There's a ten by five, really? Oh my gosh, did you show that to Ange? <laughs> all right, so I have a little bit of um, stamping, a little bit of the circles, a little bit of script on there. Anna Marie, yeah. Did you see she did Danny Clark's um, measurement? When the, she just did it without the uh, silicone. That came out really good. And then I love Anna Marie Ridoff. Yeah. Leslie makes everything by hand. I know. It's a ton of work. I think she said she had to hire three more people. <laughs> I know, CP, that she, she, she sent me an email. I think they had to hire three more people so that they could get the orders out. <laughs> um. But did you see his kids are doing those big giant letters from Michael's, the canvas ones, and they poured over the letters? I think his daughter, his son was J for James, and then his daughter is W for Whitney. Oh my gosh, they came out really good. All right, so let's see if our tie back is, not tie back, if our UFO is dry. I think it is. How cool it is with the sparkle. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, they came out good. <laughs> it's not really good. Yeah, she does. Yep. Yeah, his kids did a really nice job. I really liked um, his daughters. She had a lot of green and aqua and I think some of the pink that showed through. It was really nice. All right, so we have our little clouds. So I don't know if I'll have time. Well, the sk oh, they did do a skateboard. I didn't see him do the skateboard one. He had canvas letters. If you see that, um, yep, his daughter and his son uh, did the canvas letters. All right, so now where's this one going, did we say? Is it here? I have to be careful, too, of that split there. Now I can't remember which way I had these. Darn it. It's a wonky house here, right? Yeah, this one. This one will go there. This one will go down here. This one. Was this the one? This is the one for here, right? Yeah. Or was it this one? Let me see where the other one is. Yeah, Danny Clark, yep. I think this one was on this. Wasn't it? <laughs> Can someone go back and look and see which way I had these? <laughs> which way did I pour these? All right. So, so we want to leave room for some type of title. I don't know what kind of title I'm going to put on this, but. Down, down, up. This one should go down. I want that one up. So we'll put some type of title in there. Where did the wonky houses come from? Oh, where did I do it with the paper? It's um, a stamp from um, Catzelcraft. It's a French company. And this is the name of the stamp, Le Chateau. And the number is KTZ172. Somebody put the uh, link. I think it was the Frantic Stamper. I think the Frantic Stamper is where you could get this. And this is her name, Helen 
Chilton. Hilton. That's how I saw her do this background. So it looks cool, right? And then we got to paint those. So, all right. So let's put these. I think I'm going to actually pop these. So let's see. And how am I going to put this down? So I think I'm going to have to put that down with foam tape. So let's try this. Yes, the frantic stamper. Yep. All right, so I'm going to actually try sticking this down. We'll see if this will, will work. I'm just putting this with foam tape in here like that. Oh yeah, that'll work. And then we'll glue these down. Like that. I want to get this one more centered. More. There we go. I'm going to put that one like that. Put some glue. It looks cool, doesn't it? It looks really cool. And then, of course, I'll have to put some glitter for the sky. Let me do this here. You guys can see. There you go. So let me glue this down. I'm really um, impressed with the background. I really like those Distress Oxides. They're really nice. Thank you, Monique. All right, so, and then this one is going to go here. <laughs> She's just as fast as Jennifer. All right, so this one's going here. And then we're going to glue this one like this. I really love the yellow, too. I should have put some more yellow. See the way that pops through that? I should have used some more yellow. And I'm not going to glue it all the way down. I kind of like it with the um, castle coming, like the things are wonky and they're popping out. All right, so then this one is going to go here. So we need more foam tape. Anyway, it's something different instead of mermaids. <laughs> you guys are probably tired of my mermaids. So this one is going to go like this. Actually, I might have to do it like this. I had some more yellow creeping. I want to see if I can get some yellow in here. Let's see, because I like the way that that like shines through. Um, so let's see if I can get the yellow in here. Hello. nice that is nice and bright oh my gosh I love that okay so let's see that gives us a little more a little more shining there through there see how that yellow peeks through there I like that you can never get tired of my memory so that's good to know <laughs> all right I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow probably on this one let's see we got yellow coming through there so just maybe some yellow on this side here thing there all right so we have that and that coming through that I think it needs a little more yellow here so 
So you see how nice that is? That comes right through there. Yes, I have seen it. I was a little disappointed in that Bow Bunny Mermaid. I wanted the mermaid to be just a little bit cuter. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stick this one here and that one there. Like that. Oh, my God. You just ordered those, Eileen? Oh, my goodness. Oh my gosh. I have enabled the enabler. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you see Dee Dee's tweet the other night? <laughs> she got the uh, the little llama bag. <laughs> I can't wait to see. I hope she uses the um the what do you call it tomorrow. The uh, watercolors. All right. And then this one is going to go like this. So that looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> I haven't hit the buy button yet. <laughs> yeah, if you go to their site, they have a lot of nice stamps. Um, this is a French company. Yep. All right. So, all right, so I'm going to stick that there like that. See if I want this to go a little bit higher, maybe. I really like the yellow peeking through. All right, so I think I'm going to go like that. Up, down, up, down. There we go. <laughs> that's it yeah way to enable enable yourself Eileen <laughs> now what company is that you'll have to tweet me that the zoink the zoink stamp I don't know which one that one is you'll have to tweet it to me oh my gosh I really love this I'm thinking that maybe we need to put some weight in here somewhere so there you can see can you see now how sparkly that is I'm not, I'm not even debating whether I should even color the castles. What do you think? You think I should color them? Let's see if we get some white, maybe some white gesso in here. Let's see, white paint. Do have any pearl paint? Hold on, I get some. Some white paint. Oh, yours has a bike on it. Yeah, castles in the sky. That would be cool. Castles in the sky. Or dreaming of castles or dreaming. I don't know. So what let's see. Let's see what this does. Oh, this is actually mixing. Let me see. I need a brush. Mm, a small brush. I don't have a small one. <coughs> Oh, and they're set. Do they have a bike one? Now, it's interesting because these colors are coming through on the white. So this looks like a nice white. This is not staying white. So can you see that? It looks white to you, but it's actually mixing with the colors underneath. That's the only one I have up there, unless I put another one. So maybe that'll be just the moon. <laughs> the moon there. Hi, Terry. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> Happy to help. <laughs> so let me see if I can show it to you. So can you see the color there? Yeah. See, it does, it's not white. The colors are actually coming through. So that's a bit surprising. I'm surprised they do that. I have to get a lozenger. Hold on.
and drink of water. I really like the background. The background's really cool. I don't know. Do you think we need to add anything? Do you think I should color the castles or leave them the way they are? Should I color them with watercolor or leave them? Waiting for the lag. Should I color the castles? <laughs> All right. Leave them? Leave them. Okay, I'll leave them then. All right, then that's the end of the show. <laughs> All right, so we need to, um, let's see, color the back. At least I like to um, ink the background, so let's do that. Leave them. I am going to leave them. I think they look cool like that. All right, so let me just ink these edges. So we have time. It's nine. So what I could do is just leave this page and then you want to just see um, the face. We could try doing the face of the way he has it done. The way Frank uh, does his face. A tint of color to them. All right. Maybe we'll do the distress just a tint. We'll do it on one and see what it looks like. that all framed out I really like how that turned out <laughs> all right so let me get a water brush let's see maybe I'll do let's start with um, let's try let's try the vintage photo I don't know if I should do let's do the watercolors let's see what do I have here Let's try Jane's purple and see what happens. Like I said, this is ink um, on top of here, so we'll see how it works. <laughs> so let's just see. Any paper towel. So let's let's see what this will do. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this purple. Well, let's see if it takes. Can you see? It has just a little hint hint of that. And we'll try some of this blue. Can you see it? <laughs> you want to live in this castle? <laughs> try this one. Let's try a little yellow in here. So does this have a little hint of yellow? Ah, thanks Terry. <laughs> Let's 
So should we keep going? I'll bring it up close so you can see what it looks like. So it just has a slight bit of color. Looks good? Okay. So maybe we'll just keep going then. Let's do the um, the roof. Roof we'll do with a little bit of blue. Do the rooms. Okay, Ella. Enjoy dinner. I'm just doing all the roof first. Let's see if we can stamp some of that out. So say just a little bit of color, not too much. Yeah, just a hint of it. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do the other side. Whoops. we go. I'll that color. Alright, what other colors should we put on this? I don't want to do them all the same. So let's try, um, let's try the green. Let's see what other colors I have here. Let's try the uh, the mermaid mermaid color. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm actually gonna wet it first. Oh, I think that color is. I think the ink is bleeding through. I think. stamps did you did you push the button Eileen <laughs> peanut butter and jelly for you she says did you push it <laughs> did you push the button let's switch people back Oh, you want the $1,800 stencil first. <laughs> All right, let's try um, a pink for this one. Or maybe that lime green. It looks yellow, but I put mostly lime green in this one. So that looks good. So I think we need uh, maybe a... Should we do purple? Let's try purple. We tried purple before. It didn't really show, though. Yeah, this one's purple. Okay. 
Can you see that one? It's kind of purplish. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, of course, I have to put one little pink. It's kind of a reddish pink. Let's try that. Mix it with the purple. Kind of like a, a red pink. Is it that one? You bought the oddball ones? <laughs> All right. And then what about the last two? Ah, what happened there? I'm leaking. We need oh, what color? Maybe another yellow. Pick up pigment ink. Blah blah blah. Oh, I don't know what they're talking about in the chat. All right, let's see. Let's try this navy blue one. Let's try the navy. Ooh, that's bright. And bright. Look how bright that is. <laughs> There we go. Always, someone's always enabling why now. What are you getting? <laughs> Put some little yellow and like there's some lights in there. All right, for this last one, what color? What color for this last one? Maybe the blue, like the aqua blue. So I'm going to wet this first. Ooh, we'll mix it with a little yellow in there. There we go. Tint of color looks good, right? Yep. All right, we're going to dry this, and then I'm going to add some white with the, my Posca pen. And then we'll call it a night. What time is it? Not 10 of All right, so heat gun. Let me wash this out. Ready, heat gun. Thanks, Joe. I need my Posca pen. Where is that? This one. I have a new one. I'll add some white highlights here so to bring out some of the stuff. I might have to glue that. It's sticking too far. I have to do, just glue it down just a tad. I don't know if you can convince 
want to stream after? You guys are looking for more? All right, let me get the glue and just glue these down just a tad more. This one's just sticking up too much. Ready to go back and watch <laughs> and to stream. Yep. And Colleen, Colleen streamed today. Watch Colleen. I don't know who anybody else has streamed today. All right. Let me come back in here with this. Good. That was fast. <laughs> All right, so let's just add some color on these little bricks. So I'm just putting some white on the little bricks. Can you see that? Just adding some white onto the bricks right there. So remember, Wednesday will be an hour later, the stream. So see, so that just brings out the castle a little bit. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thanks. I'll have to add some more finishing touches to it, but... So what did we decide for a title? Castles in the Sky, what was it? So there. Thanks, Eileen. Yeah, I'm happy. I really love the distressed background. So next time we'll have to try it with gesso. Because this is without gesso and it's pretty bright. I really like it. And this is on the Dilusions uh, journal paper. Ew. Coloring books with Vaseline? Ew. <laughs> Ew. We just put Vaseline in your coloring books? Say it isn't so. <laughs> I want to know what the art choice of which is that one. That always happens, Terry. <laughs> it's like me. I was like, I have so much stuff. It's like I got to start bringing out some of my old stuff and start using it. All right, so that, see how that adds just a little bit of something, something on there? That's cool, doesn't it? I know the brick should be, what, blue or black. <laughs> but. Did we decide what the title was going to be? So there, this one needs some more. Oh, you know what else I have? I have some color, um, some, um, oh, flower soft to put on those things. We could do that. Let's do that. So I get all the bricks. Hi, Mary Lyons. The castle stamps are, um, you can get them at the Frantic Stamper, and they are, um, the name of it is KTZ172, and that's the name of it, Le Chateau. <laughs> All right. And then I can even do these little, 
you know, fool around. Like inside here, I could go back here and do some stuff with the white, you know. So I have all this to fool around with doodling. So I'm not going to do that now, but I'll just show you just a few little, few little strips here. But I can fool around with this whole top part now. So can you see? Right there. Alright, so let's put the flower soft on here and then we will call it a night. <clears throat> so let's see what colors I have. I have I have this one which is kind of like pink and greens. Then I have this one, which is like a grass green. And then I've got this one that's kind of like ivy. So maybe we'll just go stick with the green. Let's see. We'll try it. So let's just see what we do. This here, the top of the page, it is this stamp here. You can get them at Joggles or Blitzy. That's this one here. It's a double extra large. And it comes with these three stamps. They're 12 inches long. Yep. And they have these stamps here. So you can see them here in the back. That's the one we just did tonight. Yep. Carabella Studio. All right. So, like off the balcony here, like in here. Let's see. I don't know. I think you should go with the... Let's try the colored one. The pink and the green. Let's try that. So we'll do that here. Because this is like, oh, it's kind of like ivy, I would think. So maybe we should just do the, the green. I don't want it to look like flowers are coming off of there. Alright, so, so I squeeze that on there. And then we're going to open this up. Use one of those on my mail. You mean the long stamps? Yeah, I could do that. Well, maybe I think I would like the green better. See how that is. What is the fine liner? It's kind of dirty. <laughs> um, but I have scotch glue in here. Quick dry. You could either get it like that. You could either pour this. This is what I have in here. Scotch quick dry inside here. Or you can get one of these tops and do it like that. That's the one I just mailed. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this looks like. So see, now it looks like it's got little uh, flowers growing on top. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so, I don't know. Let's do one with the green. Do you think I should stay with that, the colors, or should I stay with just the green? Let's pour this back in. We'll do one with just green and see how that works. I can't wait to get that <laughs> so I can make my little uh, so see the flowers so it looks like there's actual flowers on there all right so let, we'll do this one with the green so it's just like all ivy so we'll do that with um, we'll do it with this so I'm gonna have some coming out here hanging down out of this flower box and over the top of this this one's got some coming down this one's got some. I'll put some over here. Some coming down there. 
some out of this one going down <laughs> you love the flower soft yeah looks cool all right so we'll see if we like it better with the color on there or just the green like if it's ivy yeah you can't find them now this really should be like for grass but we'll see how that goes Just green. <laughs> of course you would say that, Eileen. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's see how that works. <laughs> yeah, that sounds just like Eileen. <laughs> so there's just the green. You see it? Can't notice the green too much, but it's there. See it on the? Can see it on the lighter house there. He was at the flea market. I saw that. Yeah. He didn't say what flea market he was at though. I was wondering if it was in New York or where it was. That's green. Going back to the pink. <laughs> Going back to the pink. Mm. All right, we're going to put the pink on this one, and then I'll put the light green on that one. How's that? So then we'll have one of it, everything. All right, so we got some coming off of here. So, and down, get some in there, or else we'll put some in here, and put some in here. All right, did I get it all? Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, he leave, I think he's in London. I think he's going to London, and then I think he's off to Australia. He's really moving around, isn't he? So that's nice for him. All right, so I got that. Whoops, I got to do this one this way. So there's that one. You see that one there? just enough so we got one more to do and then uh, then we'll say goodnight so yeah so tomorrow I'm hoping Dee Dee uses her Jane Davenport watercolor I hope I'd like to see that we'll use the light green next on the other one so this is a lighter green what color this is shamrock green And then remember Wednesday night, I will be an hour later on. So, all right, so let's see, where do we have any out of here? Some in here, one out, in here in the window, falling down. Three, four, and well, let's, we'll get one coming out of here. There we go. Thanks, Eileen. It was a fun page. I really had fun doing this one. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I really like the Distress. Definitely going to be using more of the Distress Oxides. Thanks, Shells. But yeah, that was fun. It was a fun page. So I'm wondering when they're going to come out with the new colors. Because they said they're going to come out with some more colors in this. So... I should have put this lighter green on that one. You can see at least. All right, there we go. Thanks, Grammy. Thanks, everyone. So enjoy your week. And then I will see you back here on Wednesday. Remember, an hour, an hour later. All right, so put this here so there you can see now there's that one with the green <laughs> came out good didn't it and then there's that one with the pink and green and there's the dark green one is hard to see you can see it better on this one it's hard to see on that one and then there's the pink and green I didn't put any on this one I'll have some here let me put some on this Thanks, Patty. All right. All right. Good night, everyone. And I will have see you back, hopefully, at Dee Dee's tomorrow. And then back here on Wednesday night. All right. I'm just going to use that. Night, Joan. <laughs> night, everyone. I'm just putting this on there. So there's that one. <laughs> oh, thanks, Eileen. My pleasure. My pleasure, guys. It is a magical page, isn't it? I still have to come up with a title. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Night, Jennifer. Alrighty. Good night, everyone. Bye. Hi, Terry. <laughs>